Hey, before okay. before we take questions, go ahead. Sure. Just really wanted to congratulate the Blue Jays, um, Gibby, Ross, Mark. I mean, not only did they have a phenomenal year, but they're they're phenomenal people and first class people. And just wanted to say that because they had a heck of a year. Thank you. Okay. Right here. Congratulations, Terry, um, making it to the World Series again. I wanted to ask you, how satisfying is this? Or maybe that's not an appropriate way to phrase it. Clearly, it's satisfying, uh, satisfying. But considering what happened to um, your starting rotation going into the postseason for this ball club to make it all the way to the World Series. You, you know, when the game starts, it really doesn't matter what's happened because, you know, nobody's going to feel sorry for yourself or, you know, they're not going to give us an extra run or an extra out. Um, but I'd be lying, you know, if I didn't say that, like, watching Ryan Merritt go out and do what he did, um, you know, the, the only person that really got in his way was me. And I thought that he had gotten us to a point where our bullpen could take over. But what he did was above and beyond his years. Who else? John? Terry, re reasonably, could you expected that from Merritt today, considering, I mean, he one hit? big league start? Yeah, I mean, but. I mean, I don't think that you would ever go into expect. What I hoped would be that he would be himself, because I thought that was a tall task, just like for that, you know, under the circumstances. And, you know, if he was just himself, then you let the chips fall. And he threw strikes, he worked ahead. Even, you know, with an 85, 86 mile an hour fastball, you saw him beat their barrel a number of times. He didn't let the noise get to him. He, he was phenomenal. And I'm sure, you know, when it's all said and done, a game like this will, will go light years in his development, in his maturity. Just one or two more if there's anything, Neil. I'll talk all day, Phil, so I don't care. I'm afraid of. <laughs> Congratulations Thank you. Uh, again, Terry. Thanks. Given the... Uh, uh, the hurdles you face with the injuries to your starting rotation and the way you shut down a, a good hitting team in uh, in Toronto. What does it say about the pitches you have at your disposal? Well, I mean, I think I think you have to have some depth because things happen over the course of a year. I also think our bullpen did some phenomenal things. You know, they they answered the bell time after time after time. And they're going to have to continue to do that. But everybody chips in wherever they're asked, and they do the best they can. And to this point, it's been good enough. John, did you have another question? No? Yeah, OK. Then we'll let you. Okay. Terry, there are very few people that have ever managed two teams to a World Series. Does that mean much to you to, to join a pretty elite select no, company? No, it really, I mean, I'm honored that we're going to the World Series because it, to do it with, with, we always said that if we could do it with this group, it would be so special because this is as close to a family feel as you can get in a professional setting. So for that part of it, it is beyond feeling good, but not for, not for per, only personal things are the relationships. Other than that, um, just want to talk about the players and, you know, you know, what Chris and Cherney did, you know, acquiring Andrew Miller. I think those are the things I'd rather talk about. 